We found huge benefits with our simulation programs, both in the locomotive engineer and the conductor programs. An example would be on the unionized side, we implemented it at the end of 2016 and 2017. So far, what we've been able to do is reduce on-the-job training for unionized employees anywhere up to two to three months. We've had approximately 500 unionized employees last year, which is roughly a cost savings for us of about $4 million. We have seven simulators, six here in Calgary and one in Toronto that we operate from here. I joined CP coming right out of university and you know being back in the classroom was a pretty comfortable thing but what really helped was being able to go outside and get some hands-on experience and then being in front of the simulator as well. Um, it really helped translate the all the rules that we learn in the book to, you know, how is it applicable out in the field. The overall program is laid out very nicely so that you first learn all of the core material and the theory in the classrooms, then you move into the more hands-on uh, and the practical and working on your skills in the simulators, and then you proceed on to an actual engine and locomotive. So you gradually move from uh, being in an isolated environment to in a, a real production environment. One of the biggest values we get out of the simulation is to be able to create unsafe conditions in a safe environment. Every single minute of every single day they are learning something. Our programs are developed that is 100% rules transfer and knowledge to them through the entire day. You know an example would be when we have locomotive engineer training uh, an engineer would go out on a specific run and they might stop at the most challenging stops on on-the-job training maybe once or twice a month we can manipulate that that student can come in on the simulator and stop at the most challenging location five times before coffee break. There were many times when I was doing my simulator training where it really felt like you were doing the real thing. It seems to me like they were able to condense um, you know, multiple years of experience of things that might go wrong in the field down into a two-week course. The first time that I'll be driving uh, a proper revenue train, I expect that it will be a stressful and hmm, I won't say scary experience, but I expect it will be a stressful and I'll realize the seriousness of it. However, based on all of my background that I've had, I'm feeling comfortable that any situation that might come up, I will understand what the right procedures are to to be able to handle it. Through the successes that we had in Canada, we've now extended our conductor simulation down into the US. My counterpart, Eric Nardin and Rick Hunger, have developed the same programs in the US and they're using them right now. They're hitting the property more prepared than what they would have before. The hands-on that we can provide in simulation just gives them that much more benefit for when they get out to the field. The job that we have in training is probably the coolest job on the railway. If you think about where we were, you know, in my grandfather's generation to where we are today, just mind-blowing. Today we have state-of-the-art simulators like you can see here. We have people that come from all over the country to come see our training center and they see what we actually do. It's incredible and everybody leaves here just in awe of what CP is doing in the industry.